Hey boys and girls, it's the Cheap Bastard here uh, today, uh, broadcasting live from HQ in Montreal. I'm going to talk today about uh, side pull tie-outs for your tarp. I, uh, I gotta tell you a story here. I was camping last, uh, last week uh, and I had my four season man cave tarp with my hammock, all DIY stuff. Uh, beautiful spot up on uh, Mount Royal, camping illegally, mind you. But uh, I'm a no impact, a low impact camper, so I'm not worried about uh, upsetting anyone in that respect. It was cold, it was windy, my tarp was pitched low and tight, and I was happy as a clam except for one small thing. The wind was blowing on the side, the left side of the tarp kept pushing the tarp down onto my face and it was pissing me off. I hate that. I hate that. I was starting to feel claustrophobic and crowded and uh, you should not feel that way inside the four season man cave tarp. So I thought okay I've got to do something. When I made the tarp I, uh, I did not put uh, side pull outs on it uh, because as well as being a cheap bastard I'm also a lazy bastard and that's the sort of thing that does take a little effort. And, Quite frankly, I didn't want to, you know, put the effort in. So, I got to thinking, okay, I've got to find a way, I've got to do something. I saw uh, tarp clips, a two-part clip that uh, you could uh, use to pull out uh, the sidewall of your tarp. However, on uh, sill nylon, the, these clips would slip and you had to use, uh, I don't know, uh, a balloon or a condom or I don't know yet something to keep it from slipping I thought, well I like that idea but I don't like the idea of all that other uh, junk so I started looking around and I was looking at a bottle a jar of vitamins and I thought hey if I could cut that jar and keep the lid and the, and the part that the lid screws onto that would be great however that was a that was a that was a lid that was about this big yeah, and I didn't want that that was too big so I was brushing my teeth and I saw in our medicine cabinet this thing here. Some of you may recognize it, some of you may not. It is a uh, lens cleaning case for contact lenses. And I saw that and I realized, yes, that is it. It's soft plastic. It has a short barrel screw. It has a, a, a reservoir here that extends just a little bit. All one would need to do would be to take a pair of scissors and cut it in half, like so. And I almost cut this one in half, but I stopped myself because my wife, no doubt, would have castrated me for chopping up her contact lens case. Well, I started digging around the house trying to find another, thinking, well, if there's one, surely there's more. Who would have just one? Well, lo and behold, <laughs> I came up with two more. And what I did was I cut them in half, eh? like this. These are color-coded a little differently, but the design is exactly the same, right? So there's a lid and a lid. There's a receptacle and a receptacle. What I did was I put a hole in the receptacle where the contact lens would reside if you were cleaning them, and through the hole I ran a piece of string. On the end of the string I tied a nice fat knot it snugs up against the hole and you can pull on this all day long and it won't come out. So, the way this works is kind of like this. This part obviously goes on the outside of your tarp. The cap goes on the inside and I'll demonstrate how that goes together. It screws together just like so. Now, if you turn both halves at the same time, like this, like this, as opposed to just this, if you go like this, you get a nice even uh, distribution of fabric, like you see here and here. This is, this is a representation of the outside of my tarp. I've done the same thing here. Now, I can yank and yank and yank on this. It's not going anywhere. If I yank hard enough, I can pull it right off. But that's not what I want to do. I want to show how this works. Mm, excuse me. Mm. Yes. So, this is 
a representation of what it looks like on the outside. I call these tarp tips. Excuse me, I hope I don't offend anyone with that, but that's what this reminds me of. It reminds me of a, you know, a, <laughs> a brassiere advertisement. When you pull, ee, look at that. It's like, whoa, Marilyn Monroe. Whoa, 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 whoa. I just have a piece of string holding these caps. At some point in the line, and maybe even from here on down, and here on down, it would be prudent to put a shock cord. It's no trouble to cut a large enough hole, let's say an eighth of an inch or more, in this plastic cap. Putting shock cord in means that under uh, you know, a sudden load as if, you know, the wind were blowing, the load would build slowly versus if you just have this string and the wind blows, if the load is going to be, you know, instant and you might pop that cap off. With a shock cord, that problem is completely eliminated. And uh, with this arrangement, you can decide, well, gee whiz, I don't need two tie-outs on a side. I just need one. And I don't need it here, and I don't need it there, but I need it over there, or right here, or right here. This gives you the ability to move those around wherever you want. These don't slide. You don't need a balloon or a condom or paste or goo or anything like that. Uh, and they're, they're absolutely fantastic. So that's it. That's, that's my... Uh, that's my uh, idea that I want to put out there, the DIY idea. By the way, uh, before I go, I wanted to say, uh, uh, to dispel a, a, a myth or a rumor that's been going around that, that the cheap bastard is dying from Ebola or, or pinworms or cancer or whatever. I'm alive and well and uh, living large. I'm not sick. I'm not dying. I have no plans of going anywhere anytime soon. Want to send a big hey howdy out to the angry sparrow at hammockforums.net. Sorry that uh, I'm not family friendly, but uh, I love uh, you guys over there. I've drawn a great deal of inspiration from hammockforums.net, and I hope that uh, my little idea somehow makes its way through osmosis back there, even though I'm not permitted. Uh, use of the site. No hard feelings. Peace.